Hi you guys, my name is Sarah. Welcome to my channel. You're in for a treat today. I'm gonna be making over this dresser that I got from Facebook Marketplace with a pottery barn finish. So if you wanna see how I do that, stick around and let's get into it. Straight into it, today you guys, I jumped right in and began sanding. Full disclosure, I totally forgot to do an intro, so <laughs> I'm doing a voiceover. I began sanding this piece and realized that the finish on top of this, which is the case in, I think this is more of like an 80s, maybe 90s dresser and it has you know that factory finish on it and it was thick so I stopped sanding whipped out my carbide scraper and went to town on it just on the top to be able to get through to the wood grain that was my goal here <laughs> to get through to that wood grain and it definitely made sanding a lot easier so when you are sanding, you just want light pressure. You never want to push too hard down. I've started with a 120 here and I will get squiggles in the top, but I'm not too worried about that because as I go up in the grit, uh, that will take care of, I will be able to sand out all those squiggles. So this was a lot of sanding. <laughs> And, but it was well worth it. I really wanted to get to that light wood green for the look that I was going for. I've got it all off and now I'm just sort of cleaning up the toning of the wood here. Some you can see like little patches of the stain underneath. So I've gone up to a 180. And then you don't see, but I hand sanded by uh, 220 as well. So working your way up in the grids can get rid of the squirrels, squiggles. So, squirrels. <laughs> On this side, I went back to a 120 to get rid of the finish on there and also rounded off the edges a little bit more. Right here I am sanding back the base so instead of building a base like I usually do I decided this time I would keep the base and just sand it back to match the top. So while I was sanding I saw that uh, it wasn't this broken but <laughs> there was a broken bit and I've taken wood glue and some shavings from sanding and planing and I've mixed them together for a little wood fill concoction that will dry rock hard. It's so good. So it's keeping the longer piece that was there, the thin piece, and also this in, and then I just had to put those there like that to keep it all firm until it dries. Alright, Tennessee. It definitely feels more like Australia. I feel like they won't see that. They'll be like, hey, we're in a street car. No, you're fine. Dear Lord. Alright, using rest. 
Rust-Oleum Antique White. It's like a, you know, off-white, which I think is going to go um, good with this. And if I need to, I may come over it with a darker, like a brown sort of colour, but we'll see how we go. I'm excited about this finish. I'm going to be doing a pottery barn finish on this, which to me is a combination of Black Sheep House and Jen, my friend Jen over at Copper Cactus DIY. She does faux wood tops and this is sort of a faux wood finish inspired by pottery barn and um, that I can tell perfected by um, Black Sheep House. So I'm going to be giving that a go using the glaze mix that I did when I did the wood top the faux wood tops for the dresser and the side tables that I donated so this has got any Sloan graphite and on fleur and Valspar clear glaze I've added to it and you'll see the color in a second any Sloan old okra which is a creamy white color and now this looks like coffee it's beautiful it's so lovely oh and i'm going to be using my wallpaper brush to create the lines in the uh the dresser so let's get started this is the color it actually looks like diy weathered wood but it's not Okay. <laughs> and I'm putting it on in the direction that I want the wood grain to go. Because it's a glaze, I'm sure you've heard it said a million times, you have more work time. The glaze definitely helps your paint not to dry out. And let me tell you, it is a warm day today here in Tennessee. It was 32 yesterday. I don't think it's quite reached that today, but it's hot. I'm actually gonna just do the whole side because it's not that big and my brush is like massive so it's gonna cover a lot of area it 
reminds me, I can't put my finger on it, but it reminds me this color of, I know it reminded me of DIY paint, but it reminds me of a food. <laughs> I think like a little cupcake in Australia, like a little, um, Love it, love it, love it, love it. And the color is so perfect. And it's showing the white underneath, which is what I want. I'm only gonna be doing one coat and then I'm top coating it. So not a multiple layer makeover for sure. I think it's gonna get tricky for me on the draw fronts, but we'll get to that in a minute. Let's do the other side.
dip my rag in a little bit and I'm just gonna stain it just a little. Really water it down and rub it in. Flat out flat. I said in the mirror makeover that I did last month that it was a new favorite. I was not lying. General Finishes made such good top coat and you get what you pay for, for sure. I've used some cheaper top coats and they haven't had as durable or, or a nice finish, but General Finishes, I haven't been disappointed yet and this flat out flat it's so it's so lovely I keep touching the finish on it because it's just so so it's just so smooth anyway I'm a weirdo what can I say The top coat on this, the general finishes in flat out flat, it's like velvet in a can. That's what it is. General finishes, well done, you've canned velvet. <laughs> and that um, pottery barn finish, so good, so good. I, yeah, I love it. It was a really simple to do, very forgiving finish. This is, um, as I'm sure you know, by Black House Sheep. She has perfected this finish and I really like it. I can see why she favors this finish because it's a lot of fun to do and really quick. And just changing those feet out, like sanding it back to match the top, just, you know, that was a, a fairly easy way of giving it a base without building a base for it like I've done in the past. All right, you guys, thanks so much for watching the video. Please comment below and let me know what you think. And if you're feeling like I did a good job, then maybe hit that thumbs up and subscribe and hit that notification. And you'll get notified next time I upload. A little while ago, I put a message on my community tab that I may be doing lives. I haven't forgot about it, you guys. I may have jumped the gun just a little bit. We've been really busy tying up school and just work and all that sort of stuff. And honestly, I'm a bit nervous about it as well. It's one thing to record um, these videos and then edit, <laughs> but it's a whole different ball game doing something live. And it, it may just be causing a little anxiety in me. So, <laughs> I haven't forgotten about doing it. 
I just haven't worked up the nerve yet to start. So there you go, full disclosure. Uh, I feel like you guys are a safe place. So anyone who watches through my videos and comes to the end, I feel like you guys like me and you're a safe place to be vulnerable in. So there you go. Uh, next week's piece. I hope I see you guys on that. And as always, I love ya and I can't wait to chat to you then. Bye.